let's talk about parameters. There are parameters available in both Power Query and within our Power BI. Most popular, probably, most common, is a what if parameter. And let's do one of those. I've got a columnar chart here. Along the bottom, I've got regions. And then, of course, on the risers, or the value, I've got sales. So what we want to see is we want to see what would have happened if we had increased those from half a percent, one percent, one and a half percent. That's a prime candidate for a what if parameter. So let's deselect anything we've got there. We're going to go across to the top here to modeling. And here's our new parameter. We want a numeric range. Now, what are we going to call this? We're just going to call this EST, short for estimate. It is going to be a fixed decimal number. It's going to start at 0. And we're only going to go as high as, we're going to be optimistic here, 2.5. So that would be 2.5%. The increments, we're going to change this up to 0, 0 0.05, no default. And there's the slicer. Now, once this is made, if you'll notice over on the data panel, we have a new entry at the very top called EST. And EST is a series that's been generated. And the generation goes from 0 to 2.5. And there's the increments. We can always go back and edit the, the actual series. Over here, we also have an estimate value. What? Well, selected values. Well, what values? Watch the slider. As I slide up, that's a value. As I slide up, that's a value. Based upon the generate series, it has populated estimate values. So let's do the next logical step. We're going to connect along the side to our sales table. And in here, we're going to make a measure. So we're going to go new measure. And what are we going to call it? We're just going to call this estimates. And this is going to do a sum of our sales total times. And then what did we call that? That was our estimate and the estimate values. Now, I do, oh, I forgot the little closing parentheses here. And just to be perfectly correct, let's just make that lowercase. Oh, uh, I've already got one in here. All right, so let's change this out to just be estimate. I didn't realize I had one in there already called estimates. So it's been made. Now, we want this visual to change based upon the connection here. So let's select this visual and find our estimate and bring that in, down in here, in the y-axis as estimate. You're going to notice the, the graphic actually changed. The risers, um, the data series, became narrower because we need to look at this. When we slide this up to 10, ooh, that's what it would have been. Now you're going to say, well, why are we not going higher then? Because we set this down to 0. We should have set the series to start at 1, 100%. How do I change it now? Well, let's find it. Here it is. And generate series starting not at 0, starting at 1. And let's press Enter. So now let's put this up. And it's 1, so everything is equal. When we go to a half a percent, if we go to 10 percent, if we go to 1.5, and it goes up. And that's how we do a what-if parameter. 